grandchild to grandparent, husband to wife, employer to employee. Truth for Today by Mrs. B. But when God wanted to reveal himself, he chose the relationship of father to children. Hi, Dad. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Good. Good. Well, God chose to reveal himself in this type of relationship. And some fathers don't do a good mirroring job of what God is like. But what is the job of a father? A father's job is to provide. For many dads, they just think it's physical. If I go to work and provide and make food, get food on the table, provide shelter, I've done my job. But some dads can't work. And sometimes they're sick or they're unemployed. But the other big thing a dad provides is for their child emotionally. A dad needs to love them unconditionally. My dad did that for me. I stood on a sink when I was a young girl and it broke off and water went gushing. But I was never afraid that he wouldn't love me because I had done something foolish. Your Heavenly Father is like that too. He loves you no matter what. It's unconditional. Maybe your dad wasn't like that. You had to earn his love. You had to try harder that he would love you. But God the Father is not like that. Not only does he provide love for us emotionally and unconditionally, he also accepts us completely. God the Father accepts us. My dad accepted me. I used to have great big ears that stuck out and they grew into my ears. But sometimes you don't accept yourself, but God accepts us. He made us. And once we know him as our father, he accepts us completely through Jesus Christ and what he's done on the cross. Maybe your dad's neglected you, put you down, but your heavenly father never will. Not only does a dad provide for those emotional needs, but he disciplines you. If a father doesn't care about you, he won't discipline you. He'll just let you go and do what you want to do. There were times I got in trouble, right, and got disciplined. But he never did it in anger. He never abused me. Some, some of you out there might have been abused by your dad, physically, sexually, verbally. That's not what God is like. So if your father did not represent God to you the way he should, then put that aside and know that your Heavenly Father truly loves you unconditionally, accepts you completely, and will discipline you in 